everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I tried out the infamous Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. This is the Bling Boss, has all those purpley goodness shades. Um, and yeah, that was an experience. So stay tuned to see that. I also want to point out right away that I am taking appointments for the Quitter Horse Congress this year for makeup. It's going to be the 17th or the 27th. I will have the link down in the bio or description. It's also on my Facebook, Instagram, all that. It's actually my new website, horseshowbeauty.com. You can find it all there. I will leave it down in the description, but I think that's all I have to say. So go ahead and if you like to see how I get this and just keep watching. The first thing I want to say before we even start this video is that I will be doing makeup appointments at the Congress this year. I will be there the 17th through the 27th. Appointments are up on my website. It's horseshowbeauty.com. I will link it down below. It's also on Instagram and Facebook. So yes, if you'd like an appointment, just go ahead and sign up and let's get started with the video. So I went ahead and asked you guys on uh, Instagram which palette you guys wanted to see in a video. This is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Vault, it's the purple one. And then this is the Spice It Up, or Spice Edition from the Rimmel London, but Rimmel London, you know what I mean. I am gonna use this in another video, but today, Jaclyn Hill one. I'm really nervous about using this palette because I swatched it when I got it and it swatched like crap. So, let's see how this goes. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows really quick. I'm gonna try out some new products today and just kinda talk to you guys I know it's been a hot minute, so let me get my brows on and then I will give you all the deets. I take that back. I'm just gonna go ahead and underline my brows. I'm gonna carve them out with concealer, do my eyeshadow, and then I'll finish them off. But can we just talk about my poor brow brush? I don't know if you guys have been keeping track, but I have had this brush for years and this is my favorite brush to carve out my brows. And I put it in a little travel bag and totally forgot it in there for like a week. And now it's ruined and I tried putting it back, but it's not working. So I'm still gonna try to salvage it and use it today, but you know, it's gonna be a little wonky. <laughs> it sucks, this is so not the same. I got this brush in a set off a group on like literally years ago. And so I'm not even sure where it could find one like this. If you know of a brow brush, or it's actually a concealer brush, um, like this that's not bent, it's kind of just like an angle. Let me know, cause I definitely need a new one and this is the, best shape I've found. Can we also just talk about the fact that my friend just texted me telling me that there's a place in Japan that you can get dollar sushi. It's on a train and then once you buy five you get to play a game. Like my friends know me so well. <laughs> so I'm also going to use that concealer to prime my eyes just to block out all of the discoloration. Just a thin layer. I love this concealer. It's a NARS soft matte concealer. This is the color vanilla. And I'm going to set that just with like a translucent powder really quick. Okay. So, I'm gonna go into this palette, the color Hush Hush. This is a Zoeva 134. It's honestly just a big fluffy brush. You use whatever you've got. And let's put this into the crease. I'm pretty nervous about this palette because, like I said, they swatched not good at all. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that. My Instagram is Horsha Beauty, same as here, as well as Facebook and all that. So, follow me on all that to get all the inside scoop, if you will. But on top of that, like, Jaclyn Hill has been posting videos nonstop about the quality of these. I don't know if you've seen all the drama, but there's lots of drama around these palettes. So, I mean, that color blended out nice. It's just a nice transition shade. Okay, well, I really like that one. I do love her original Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, the big one. I use it all the time. I don't know if you can hear, but my dogs are laying behind me and one of them is, like, snoring. I think I'm gonna go in with Rockstar next. Picking a Morphe M514. Honestly, I have no idea what kind of an eye look I'm doing. I'm just playing with the colors as I go. So this is pretty pigmented. I don't know if you can tell, it actually, like when I'm blending it out, it's losing its pigmentation. Um, I don't know, we'll see what it does in a second here. So I'm putting it on like the outer corner a little bit and then just bring it into the crease, keeping it lower than that last shade. See, like it looks good now, but like, can you see the difference from when it's blended out? I mean, it's pretty pigmented though, so that's good. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in. Actually, I'm gonna go in with my first brush and just take a little bit of that transition shade to help blend the edges, because I feel like when I go to blend with a that dark color on my brush, it just gets really messy. Okay, next I'm going in with the Morphe E17. I don't think they make this, but it's like a chubby little tiny blending brush. I'm gonna take the color Mystic. It's like a dark kind of purpley brown. And I think I'm gonna put this, ooh, this is pretty. Honestly, let's put this all over, yeah? Usually when I would do a dark color like this all over the lid, I would put down a dark cream base. But this is kind of an impromptu moment. Uh-oh. This might have been a bad idea. Let me zoom you in so you can see. Okay. 
So I started by packing on color and then I did a couple swipes right here to blend and can you see how patchy that is? Dark here, dark here, and then this line of like nothing. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. So it's like every time I try to blend it's removing that product. Let me try a different brush. I'm gonna use a Zoeva 227 and just take that same color and pack it on. Um, this is not going well. Do you see this line in the crease right here? It's a really pretty color though. I'm wondering if I just use a base, that'll help. I'll try that on the other end maybe. Okay, so it looks okay on the lid right now. I'm gonna try to blend it into the crease a little. It's... <laughs> try not to touch the lid, but I kind of am on accident and it's just blending away completely. It's like it's not sticking to the eyelid. It's like the second anything graces it, it just rubs right off. And yeah, it's pretty patchy, really, really pretty color though. So let's see what we can do to make it work. Going in with my M514, no additional product, but this is what we use with that second color. I'm just blending out the edges a little. So yeah, it's lost some pigmentation right in here. And I mean, I'm hardly blending, which sucks because it's like, you can't go in and really blend it out or it goes patchy. So that's kind of annoying. I'm gonna try taking one of my Laura Mercier crayons. Uh, this is Aubergine. I'm gonna put this just on the lid. I'm gonna blend it out with my finger. I'm gonna try to blend it up to the crease, but not into the crease. And now let's go in with that color again. I'm gonna start by just packing it once again. Okay, already more intense with that base on. So the base just gives it a dark base to stick to, so obviously it's gonna be more intense. Now I'm like slightly taking it into the crease if I can. And again, just kind of like packing it rather than swiping it. Okay, so now this is extra crappy. So it definitely grabs onto that base, which is awesome. However, now I'm not able to blend this line out. Whereas on this side, because I didn't have a base, it's not a drastic difference. But like I was saying, I'm having trouble blending. So let's see, I'm gonna kind of like pack and try to blend into the crease. Okay, it's working on this outer corner. I'm having trouble right in this inner corner. Oh god, right here, it's like a disaster. Even on my lid, like it's super patchy even on my lid over that base. Oh my god, this is so bad, guys. I don't know if you're able to see this, so... Now it's turning that really red color here and it's really dark over the base and then in the crease it's very like cherry looking. And it stinks because this is so pretty, but like, can you see the difference in my eyes? This is not good. But it sucks because I really like these colors. I'm not sure, I have to go to work after this so I'm like I'm not sure if I should leave it or just take it off and switch and try a different palette or what. Like I got punched because I have fallout right in my hollow. I'm gonna ask you guys on Instagram really quick if I should keep going and try to make it work or switch to a different palette. See what the people say. Hey guys, I am in the middle of filming with that Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm having some technical difficulties with the blending here. So, do you guys want me to continue using it and try to make it work or should I switch to the Rumble palette? Let me know really quick. Let's see what the people say. Okay, so within the first five minutes of posting my question on Insta, it's kind of half and half. Um, let's see. We're at 40 and 60%, so, well, now it's 50-50. So it keeps going back and forth. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave it because I did go in and fix it and then I'm gonna use my Rumble palette in another video. So what I ended up doing, I added a little bit more of the cream base and then I took this dark kind of sparkly purple black shade and put that all over the lid and that helped because it kind of just covered up the patchiness. So I actually like how it's looking enough right now. Like I will go out in public with this now. So I mean it looks fine now. I think the trick to it is probably not using Mystic all over the lid, just using it kind of in the crease. That's what we're going to do for now. So I think I want to go in and, well, I cleaned up my fallout under my eyes, so let's go ahead and do my base and then we'll come back to the eyes. So today I'm going to try a Makeup Revolution foundation. It's the Conceal and Define. This is brand new. I have read, or well, I haven't read reviews. I've seen some reviews on it and I know it's going to be matte, so I am going to prep my skin. So I did moisturize earlier, but I'm going to go in to prime with the Ren Perfect Canvas. This is a primer. It's kind of, it's not an oil, but it's a very hydrating one and a dropper. 
So I use about like a dime size amount and I put that all over and it makes your skin, it's like a watery consistency but it does make your skin um, blurred which I really like because for dry skin it's hard to use those like pore perfecting primers because they do get very dry and matte. <laughs> so I'm trying the color F6, let's hope to god it works because I think it's going to be light but maybe I can use some contour and bronzer and stuff. Oh yeah, that's light but it's fine, we'll make it work. This is light honey. And I was just at the river this weekend, so now I'm all tan. And this foundation's light. Okay, so so far, it's very velvety looking, definitely not any glow to it. So I'm worried it's gonna be kinda dry on my skin. I look like the biggest dead ghost right now with the dark eyes and a pale face. So definitely a shade or two light compared to my body. I don't or here. Like, look at my shoulders. I'm very golden and my face is very white. Let me zoom you in so you can see. So it's just very velvety. The nose looks dry. Like my whole face looks dry, but not patchy at least. It just looks dehydrated. So I'm just gonna go in with some good sprays and stuff and see if I can make it work. I feel like it doesn't even it's supposed to be like really full coverage, but it's not really covering all that great. Let's try this one spot. Yeah, I don't know about that coverage though. That's what we're looking like. Let's go in and highlight and contour and hopefully make myself look not as dead. I'm gonna do some of the Born This Way um, concealer. I wonder if it's gonna be too dark. <laughs> yeah, it's kinda dark. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with some Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer. It's one of my favorite concealers. While I'm blending this out, I will talk to you guys a little bit. So my parents and I, I still live with my parents, we moved houses. So we live kind of, not in the mountains, but like out of town a little ways. But not, I am still trying to get the perfect filming setup. Um, this is just temporary. I am going to put my uh, filming setup, my vanity and everything in another room actually. For now, my granny, she lives in North Carolina and when Florence hit, it pretty much destroyed her house. And my uncle also, who has been taking care of her um, also in North Carolina so there's a chance that she's gonna be coming to stay with us in which case she'll stay in the guest bedroom and if she does come she's gonna be here for a while so I'm not putting my filming stuff in there quite yet we just moved in this house recently and I hadn't had a chance to anyway for now it's in my room I'm gonna stay here until I figure out what to do in there gosh I am looking so pasty I feel like that concealer combination it helped kind of make everything look more hydrated and smooth it just looks very velvety like I don't not like the foundation it's just not very hydrating and I feel like I need more hydration from it oh my god like look how dead I look right now okay it's all gonna come together guys have faith I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes and my face with the hourglass veil powder still my favorite it does not make you look dry and it actually helps make you look really smooth so I just set my under eyes and my forehead I'm not even gonna set my face still looking fine not great but fine I'm gonna go ahead and contour with my Mac shaping powder I think this is the color sculpt actually now that I'm sitting here thinking about it now I'm going to dip into the most intense highlighters you guys will ever see. They're the Give Me Glow highlighters. I bought the full palette because there's nine full size pans. It's 75 bucks for all nine, which seems like a lot, but like each of these retail for I think 30 bucks. So when you're getting nine full size, it's definitely worth it. Yeah, I'm going to take this color. It is Porcelain Peach. So you can buy these individually as well. Boom. Do you guys see that? And I like an intense highlight, so in my case this is good. If you don't like intense, you are not going to like these. Put a little bit on the tip of my nose. And now let's just bronze the hell out of my face. This is the Becca Capri Coast. I love this because it's super glowy and it's very bronze without looking weird. This is the Morphe Jaclyn Hell JH02 Rush. I did buy, wow, that was a lot of bronzer. The full um, kit of the brushes. Expensive, but they are really good brushes, so up to you worth the money but it is a big investment bring it down the neck for sure kind of just taking it all over because I'm so pale right I'm just gonna go in with a big fluffy powder brush and like soften this up a little because I went a little crazy now I'm just taking the color Taj Mahal from NARS this is one of my favorite blushes on an IT Cosmetics 316 brush my favorite blush brush this blush kind of just makes you look bronzy also like it doesn't add ton of color like it doesn't look orange on your face like it doesn't bang. I'm gonna spray myself this is the iconic London prep set glow 
So now for the under eyes, I'm going to start with Hush Hush, which is that transition shade we used first up top. I'm going to really smoke it out. Honestly, I didn't mean to do such a dark, smoky eye, but like... That was the only way to save that eyeshadow. Hey, leave a comment while well, I'm thinking about this down below. Do you guys like when I do my eyes from this distance or when it's zoomed in? Because I know when I'm zoomed in, especially on the lower lash line, I get very out of focus or like out of frame. Okay, now I'm going to go in with Mystic, which is that color that was giving me trouble up top. I'm going to run that on a pencil brush. Then I'm just going to take on my finger the color Bling Boss. It's a sparkly like light pink put that on the inner corner okay so I put my lashes on I did my brows I did my mascara got mascara everywhere I'm waiting for lashes to dry so while that's happening I'm gonna put on Sephora collection number 27 liquid lipstick I love this it's like a really dark berry color one of my favorites especially for like Hunter under saddle love this one I'm hoping my little wonky brush can still do this job if not I'm gonna have to find a new one I'm so sad I destroyed this. No one will understand how sad I am. Be honest with you guys, this lip is not the lip I was thinking it was. <laughs> My favorite one is 24, which is very berry, but this one is like a really deep black cherry kind of color, which goes with the eyes. I suppose it's just really dramatic. Um, I probably wouldn't wear something this dramatic unless it was the pleasure or the trail in Western Riding, any of those. I want to do something as dark on the eyes and lips. However, I did it today, so <laughs> this is what we're going to go with. I'm going to do one more spritz with my iconic London spray. Okay, now that I have my hat on, I actually really like this look. <laughs> this is my brand's Hattery hat. I think this one's my 50X. Pretty sure it's my 50X. Great guy, great hats. I love this hat because of the buck stitching. Whip, no, yeah, buck stitching. I always want to call it the whip lace, but that's one that it like goes around. Anyways, 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 getting distracted, but I really do like how this turned out. Um, that Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette, I feel like you can use it. It's only, I think it was 15 bucks, so it's not like you're losing out on a lot. I feel like there's better palettes out there, but it is a lot of pretty colors. I feel like it can make it work, but it's not super user friendly. Like you really have to work with it. But overall, I like how the look came out, so I'm happy with that much. And then the foundation, um, if I remember tonight, I'll come and do a check-in right before I take it off, but it's just matte. Like, it doesn't look bad by any means. It's just matte, and on my skin, I don't love that. But it did cover everything. Hopefully, it lasts. I will let you guys know. But yeah, don't forget to book your Quarter Horse Congress makeup looks. And I am going to try to do another series for 7 Days of Congress. Who's excited? <laughs> and let me know what specific looks you guys would like to see in that series. I think that is all I have to say. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Go follow me on Instagram. Like my Facebook page. And take check out my new website. It's horseshowbeauty.com. Everything else is just at horseshowbeauty. You can find me pretty much everywhere. <laughs> but let me know what you guys think of this look. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. I came back to do a quick check-in. It is now... 11 o'clock at night. Whoa. I don't know if you can see that, but it's 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock. I'm tired. And I, I just got off of work and I just wanted to give you an update on the foundation. I think I'll probably try it again and like switch out my primers and try some other stuff. It looks like barely starting to break up on my chin. It, it just looks makeup-y to me. I don't know. And now that my oils have come through a little bit, I do like it because it's not as matte. Um, On my nose, it kind of rubbed off just because I've been like itching it and I think I blew my, blew my nose. Blew my nose? blew my nose what you know what I mean um at one point tonight but I think like on my forehead it looks really nice and like my cheek portion looks really nice it kind of emphasizes my pores I feel like and um and then just on my chin and like my upper lip it just looks a little bit too makeupy. y but zoom you in And usually foundations will crease kind of in my forehead lines here. I felt like it started to do that and then I put my powder on and that helped. So yeah, I think it's worth giving it a shot. I think if you have dry skin, it just takes some finagling, if you will. If you have oily skin, I don't know that it would really last. Like, I don't know, it's worth a shot. But if you try it and you like it or don't like it, leave a comment down below so everyone can know. And leave your skin type if you've tried it. Yeah, just thought I'd give you a quick update.